Constable. Order! This court is now in session. Order! Order! Constable, please present the complaint to the court. The complaint of the plaintiff, Elijah Graves, that the accused Caesar Peters, on the night after the 24th of September, did feloniously steal and carry off from my house the following articles. One broadcloth vest with metal buttons, one pair of corduroy breeches, one corduroy vest, one pair of flower silver knee buckles, and for the recovery thereof which just cost, the plaintiff brings this suit. Will the defendants please rise? Caesar, Lois, and Theodorus Peters are hereby summoned on the charges of theft of clothing from the town tailor, Mr. Elijah Graves of Hebron. On this said 27th day of September, 1787. How do you plead? Guilty. Guilty. Is everyone at home right now? Gentlemen. They're still slaves, patients. I believe they're being taken to South Carolina in the morning. Good evening, Elijah. Is it? Oh, you, you are the justice of the peace. Certainly there is some law, something you can do. Nathaniel Mann has documents for their sale. He is in every legal right. I have no cause to stop him. But that is why I am here. Every legal right. If you had seen how they were treated like animals, Elihu, beaten and Reason, shackled. Let us hear what Justice Marvin has to say. I have been told that you were not at militia training with the rest of the men from town. How is that of any consequence? If you were not at the training, then surely you must have witnessed the seizure of your neighbors. But you did not go over to protest. I could barely walk, Elihu. I can see that. What is it? What is the matter? I am just trying to make sense of this afternoon. I was not there. I was there. I walked outside when I heard the screams. <laughs> What did you give Caesar and Lois? Food and clothing. Caesar and Lois are in possession of clothing taken from your house. Would you be willing to testify to that in court? Oh, James! Oh, how did you escape? Is your family here too? No. no. James, where is your family? They've been taken to Norwich, to the shipyards, they said. They are not far. Constable. Yes, sir. Draft a warrant for the arrest of Caesar and Lois Peters for the theft of clothing from Elijah Graves. What? No. We would never steal anything. Please. Draft a warrant. 
and return Caesar and his family back here tonight. Don't you see? They cannot leave if they are accused of a crime. They must stand trial here. But we will never steal anything, and you know that. James, you must trust me. Patience never gave your family anything. Do you understand? Do you think they'll catch them in time? How has this come to be, Patience? I cannot lie in court. Elijah! No, Patience. I am a simple man who has always minded his own business. And now this. Nathaniel Man has done nothing wrong to us and nothing illegal. Just because it is not illegal does not make it right. Do not lecture me. Caesar and Lois are our neighbors. They're our friends, Elijah. Leave my home. Is your husband at home? Please leave. Patience. Leave us alone. Nathaniel, what do you want from me? Simple. For all of this to go away. Do you think I have the power to make that happen? I do not appreciate other people meddling in my affairs, Elijah. My uncle asked me to oversee the sale of his property, and that includes his slaves, so I did as I was asked. Listen, Elijah, I know you're up to no good. Those clothes were charity, and you know it. You saw it just as I did. Explain to me why Caesar and Lois were never freed when your Tory of an uncle ran off to his beloved England. This is no one's business but my own. I came here to offer a warning, Elijah. You are a quiet neighbor and a fine tailor, but you are a liar. And I see no reason not to bring this, this corrupt trial to the attention of the superior courts. You want to be a patriot? Do not dare turn a blind eye to the law. Guilty. Guilty. What is wrong, your honor? Not enough time to rehearse their lines? Dr. Mann, you will be so kind as to keep order in my courtroom. Guilty, sir. Very well. Let it be stated for the record that all three defendants plead guilty to the charges of theft. As for the consequences, Mr. Elijah Graves, would you please step forward? Mr. Graves, would you state for the court the value of the stolen items? Knee buckles are worth three shillings. A vest, slightly worn and stained, two shillings, six pence. Three for the breeches and the coat.
Six shillings for the coat. Thank you, Mr. Graves. You may step down. I have 15 shillings here. Allow me to pay for the clothes and we can all be on our way. Consider it an act of charity. Here, Elijah, take the money. Dr. Mann, please be seated. I find the defendants guilty as charged. As to the fine, I'm setting the fine at 40 shillings for the crimes committed, 40 shillings each for damages, and a fee of seven pounds for the cost of this trial. 40 shillings each? And seven pounds entire? Good God, that is almost two years' wages. Very good point, Dr. Mann. Until the fines are paid in full, I recommend that the defendants will repay Mr. Elijah Graves with two years' service. Two years' service? You are being unrealistic, Your Honor. For stolen clothes? And you? You, Elijah, are a liar. You are all liars. Dr. Man. This clothing was never stolen. No crime was ever committed here. You make a mockery of this new nation's justice system. Dr. Man, you are out of order. No, no, Elihu, you are out of order. <sighs> this would never would have happened under the king. Nathaniel Man, you traitor! You, you hypocrite! How dare you question the proceedings of this court when you yourself should be convicted of assault? Is this true? Oh, lies about the clothes. <laughs> Did you brandish a weapon? She... I was... They had no right to interfere... Constable, with take Dr. Mann to custody. No, no! You are a liar, liar! A liar and a scoundrel! No, oh! All of you! The fine stands as stated. With custody provided unto Elijah Graves until paid in full. Should he accept these terms. Mr. Graves. I accept these terms. Good. This court is adjourned. Thank you. Better neighbor we never had. doesn't make them free, Elihu. But at least they are safe for now.